What's up, YouTube? This is me again, Sea Dog, and I'm back with the second part of the 3A Bumblebee review. And this figure is 14 inches, just so you know. We're going to do a little bit of measurements, though, just to be sure. Uh, I have him in a little hands on hips pose, and I have his LEDs, uh, well, a few of them extended, or on, excuse me. Um, I have them on right now. So, I will show you briefly. So for the, the head, you don't have to take the head off. I'm just going to do this to show you because it's dark. And... All right, so on the back of the head, there is a button. You have to use your fingernail. And you clip it, and it goes off. And then you, it's a little round button. I'll show you real quick. A little round button right there. Okay. And then you clip it, and it will turn the lights on in the head. Very good. I got a bunch of extra lights, so that way won't have any problems um, on the headlights which are freaking fantastic you go back here and there's a well, if you move this stuff out of the way there's a light there's a, a button right here it's a big long button in between these pistons you press that it goes off you press that it goes on simple as that so very nice very nice indeed um, actually, I'll leave that on. I'm just going to have the one on, so don't worry about the lighting situations because I'm only keeping one on at the moment. Then we also have this device. This is, uh, this is his other arm, and it's got the LEDs in it. Actually, I believe that. Oh, no, they're not on. And almost, if you look in the light in it, it almost looks like they're in it. Well, at least from my point of view, it's like it's, the LEDs are already on, but they're not. And you just use this little lever down here, and... You press it down, and it gives you this nice glowing red effect, and you can do it kind of like in a, whoops, you can do it, well, I guess you can't really do it, oh, like, fastly, but you can do it once, and then you can do it again. You got to do it like a gun, like, choo, choo. But, um, yeah. All right, so, yeah, this is him and his LEDs, looking fantastic. Uh, nice blue, uh, and these are dollar store batteries. I bought a bunch of them. I went to Walmart, and they wanted a hundred and, what was it, a hundred and six dollars. No, a hundred and nine dollars is what they wanted. I went, I got three times the amount for five dollars at the dollar store, and they work great. All right, so I'm going to, just excuse me a minute, I'm going to um, show you how to do this. I'm going to uh, turn the lights back on. Give me one second. I don't have an ability to stop my camera yet until I get the new camera. This is what I got. But I will be getting one in my in the next few months. So. Okay. All right. So I'm just taking a look at him. Um, something seems off. Um, also, remember that foot to fill off? It's missing right now, so we're going to have to be a little careful with him. I I'm just going to leave it off because I figure the more times it goes in and falls out and goes in and falls out, it's going to be that much harder to glue it in. But uh, it's no big deal. It's just a peg. I'm going to put some super glue on it. Super glue there be no problem. All right. So back to Bumblebee. Uh, this is going to be the LED section, the accessories. I showed you how to do the helmet. Uh, I took those off already. They're over here. So you would want to take... Oops. He's going to be a little wobbly because of that missing foot. But he still stands. But um, you want to take these off. You know, if they're on. And then you would just... Um, I guess we can put the LEDs on. And then you would just place it on the front. Like, like so. There's a couple holes right here. And there's a couple tabs in there. And you want to match up the holes with the tabs. And, uh, like so, and like so. Like that. And let's check out, look at, see if you guys can see a good deal. That's it. Something seems off with the, oh, the lights. There you go. Sorry, guys. I forgot to, to turn the actual light on. <laughs> okay. Um,. Now that the light's on, I'm actually going to turn off the LEDs. And there goes this helmet. I didn't have it attached completely, but it, it, you know, 
it's a little bit harder when you're above it to attach to attach it. Uh, let me just okay. Yeah. All right. So, all right. So we want to swivel the arms back into place, down. And I want to swivel it back like that. So what you want to do. Um, what you want to do to attach the LED, the LED uh, cannon, and to detach the arm, is okay. So on the back of him, there is a button. You can see. Uh, let's see how I show this off. Uh, you can see on his arm. There's like a little knob. Um, Maybe you can see it like that, like a little knob right here that sticks out. You want to press that little knob at the same time. When you press that little knob, right at the edge of his elbow, you want to pull at the same time. And it detaches, almost like a solo Jagokin. One, some of my solo Jagokins have uh, gimmicks like that. And then you would just press the, place the arm down and you grab the arm cannon. It's got the same attachment. You press the button in again. And then you attach the the you attach the um, you attach the cannon arm. So, well, great. So, um, yeah. I mean, it, I don't know why it came off. It probably wasn't attached right, but uh, it works no problem. Um, so, yeah. And then the batteries for it, they go in right in here. And it takes three AG1 batteries, button cell batteries. And I'm telling you, go to Dollar Value or the Dollar Tree. I think Dollar Tree. They have a ton of them in. And then it just has a couple tabs. And you just want to place it back, pop it back on. Okay, for the batteries for the for the chest, you take the head off, and this right back here comes out. I originally I had to use a screwdriver to get. Yeah, I didn't think I would have to. And then there's three AG1 batteries in there as well. And then you just you just attach it back on with its peg system and clip it back on. And for the helm, for the head, uh, you take off the top. So you want to be careful. You start in the back and you use your fingernail and you just pry it ever so lightly and gently until it comes loose and then once it comes loose you have it upwards if the if the batteries are in it because I don't want to sit here and try to put them back in and you just do it slowly and surely and sure enough three batteries go in there and it's got a pegging system and you just peg it in and what I do is I usually pegged it in the front first I think it was or maybe it was the back first let me see um, I believe you want to do it in the front first because you want to line up those holes, yeah. So you want to line up the holes in the front first and then you kind of just sandwich it back on as a hole. And then there you go. And then you got LEDs, no LEDs, no LEDs, you know. You just there. pop it back on. Um, so I showed you those gimmicks. Yeah, he's going to have a little bit of a hard time standing, uh, leaning back. What is that noise? Oh, wow, that's really a nap. Sorry about that. My light was making all kinds of noises. If you, if you haven't seen uh, part one, this is just uh, the follow-up to part one. Please go back and watch part one of the review. It has all the articulation and all the gimmicks that I missed in this one. And it goes over pretty much everything that I don't in this one. Uh, and you definitely want to check out the articulation. So another thing, another part of the articulation I probably didn't mention is it does have a little bit of forward and backward with the shoulders and up and down. But it's on this rubbery thing, so it doesn't really hold. It, it, it's fun to play around with, but it, it's not like it's not like an actual joint. Um, these things move as well for getting out of the way. 
but I find uh, his right side to move a lot better. His left side's a little bit wonky and kind of gets in the way. These things right here on top get in the way completely. They must just be like screen accurate or something, but they get in the way completely of uh, posing his legs and stuff. So you want to be careful of those. All right, so I'm going to just do a little bit of a, um, a close-up here for you guys. And, okay, so uh, let's see if I can do this. Oh, whoops. Oh, buddy. Remember, he has a missing foot, so. Just let me mess with him a little bit. All right, last thing I want is him to go sailing. So just removing the camera and just getting a little bit of a close-up view. We can look at some of the details. Hold on, guys. I'm gonna actually swivel in like this. I'm gonna take a look at him under the light here. Uh, it's too bad that he's wobbly, man. It's making it a lot harder for me to do the review. Okay, all right. Okay, so looking at some of the details here, I think his face. face look at all the weathering and stuff very very incredibly detailed look at the um, the um, fiberglass or the well, I don't know what you call that this black stuff it's like um, it was on you see the black stuff right uh, right there it's like yellow black pattern fiberglass or something I can't remember what they call it um, looking at some more of the details some more weathering look at the tires look at the back doors some of the intricate details and this isn't even cl up close it looks even more crazy very very detailed it's got the 900 straw for the for the um, license plate. Sorry, I was trying to get situated here. Going down to his his legs. There's his feet. Oops. Got all the intricate details. And remember, he's not standing on all the feet right because because of. Uh, you know, because of the foot, I have to glue it back on. See how it's kind of lifting up there? You can see some of the more details there. Looking up. Looking at his hand details and all the weathering. This isn't even going to come close to the amount of detail he actually has. And look inside the armpits and stuff, like the gears and whatnot, and the pistons and the rotors. And All right, give me a second, guys. I turn him around. I'm going to show you the back of him now. I'm really hoping he doesn't fall backwards. Okay. There's the back of his head. You can see the back of the lights and stuff. The back of the arms there. See those pistons? See that little button right, right where my thumb pinky point is? That round thing? That's the button you hit to um, detach the arm. And I don't think, I think it's just a faux one. I don't, yeah, the right, the left arm doesn't come off. I don't believe. There's more of that fiberglass stuff. So yeah, this is my review, guys. Looking at the back of him. Very, very cool. Let me know what you think of the review. If you got something to say, leave it in the comment sections below. If you like the video, please leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. And share with your friends. And we got lots more videos to come. All right. Say goodbye, Bumblebee. Beep, 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 beep. Peace.